Hi, uh, welcome to Josh Harasses' family <laughs> episode two. Last time we looked at high-end hi-fi headphones. Today, we're gonna be looking at budget hi-fi headphones. We're gonna see what normal people who don't have a ton of experience with headphones, some at all, think of these budget options. They're gonna analyze the build, then they're gonna analyze the sound. They're gonna talk about where they rank them overall. And I gave them a little bit of a trick question on the budget. I gave them a $100 to $500 range rather than what they all are, which is one to $200. I just wanted to see how high up in price they would think some of these are. It's just for my own entertainment. Sorry, fam. All right, here we go. Welcome back. Thanks. You already know what we're doing today. <laughs> I okay. do. You ready? Yep. Okay, so do you know what we're doing today? I think so. Looking and listening to different headphones. These were comfortable on there. I like the fact that they're lightweight. I like how they adjusted easily. Um, one of the others didn't, uh, it adjusted, but not as easily because I like to be able to put them on my head and pull down the um, earphone till it is in a comfortable position. So I liked that. Being so lightweight, a lot of it is made out of plastic and stuff like that. So maybe not quite as durable. The Sennheiser, I like the look of it. It just flows. It's a nice, it's a nice look. It's pretty comfortable. I do like the single cord on it. Honestly, I didn't like the fit. The comfort level, I didn't like. Um, I felt like I had to keep adjusting it and I just felt like it was heavy. These ones are light, but if the Philips, but I feel like the headband probably is gonna be more comfortable. These were really heavy to me. I don't know if they they just don't fit my head as well. Maybe it's built for a rounder face. Wasn't wasn't as, as thrilled with those. The Phillips seem like they're well made. I don't like the the head, the constant pressure from the elastic on the head phones, but the the actual earmuff part was comfortable and stuff. These were a little bit heavier, not not too heavy that I think they would be uncomfortable, but they just feel a little more solid and stuff like they would last a little longer. These were fun. Um, really closed in the ear. I'm looking forward to listening to these. These ones are heavier, um, but I feel like once they're on and like around your ear, you will probably be able to hear better. They just seem like really cushiony and just surround. None of them seem to have a whole lot of external noise dampening. When I had them on, I would like clap a little bit. I didn't notice much sound dampening. The um, Hyphaman have a little bit of flex on the, the ear pads so that they fit comfortably on your head. The Sennheiser, I thought, had a little more bass than the other two. Had a little bit fuller sound, more a better blend, I thought, of the, um, the bass and the higher um, sounds. On most of these, because of the intended distortion in the, um, the song itself, I thought it was hard to, to really rate you know, how much you had in the, how much of it was headset and how much was just in the music um, until they got to the the vocal part and then you could separate it better. But in the beginning, I thought it was really hard to tell. It was good, wasn't as good, but to get over this handle thing, <laughs> it was better. <laughs> Comfort weighs in a lot. Um, in the experience. I think if, if I didn't have to walk around with it, if I was only sitting um, and listening to it and enjoying it, the Phillips would probably be the choice. But if I'm moving around, then the Sennheiser would win out. So for the Phillips, like I felt like I just heard more vibration. So not as clear, not as as previous ones. I really like the sound of the Phillips on the second song. Um, it was crisp, it was defined, it was engaging. I like the the head headband part. It was more comfortable, but the like when the bottom part of the earmuffs kind of come in more, so they weren't as comfortable. Sound wise, it was okay. It wasn't like I think the other pairs were probably better sound-wise than this pair. It didn't sound any different than just probably listening in the car or at home. 
you know, I didn't feel like I was completely immersed in the music. I didn't feel like it was spectacular. It was just listening. I actually liked the Phillips. The sounds were crisper and sharper. I thought um, I could hear the bass and some of those things, but still those upper ranges and stuff were sharp and, and clear too. So the Hyphenman, I liked the volume when it was like medium, not low, not high. Like I felt like medium was like a really good sound all the way across the board. When it got too high, it felt like the music was just really loud, you know. The fit is good. I, it would fit better than the last pair. My ears fit inside. Like I feel like I could hear like all the different sounds clearer just smooth. Higher pitched noises were more clear, which is probably why I didn't like it at the high volume because it was too much. It was definitely a lot more intense at a higher volume than the other pair. Not so impressed. They they felt great on my ears. <laughs> they felt great, but it was just, it, it was an okay experience, not, not engaging. Didn't bring you to the highs and the lows the same way. It just, it wasn't there. And it also, I didn't hear the definition side to side as I did with the Philips and with the um, Sennheiser. The Heifeman, I, I liked not as much uh, as the, I can never, um, Sennheiser. Sennheiser, but I did like it better than the Philips, I thought. Um, mainly because I like maybe a little more bass than I thought the Philips was delivering. Overall, I would probably go with the Sennheiser. They don't seem as durable overall as the other two. The sound, I liked the Philips the best. I don't like it for comfort. I think for sound, the Philips. Overall engaging for the depth that you would get from it. But for just overall preference for sound, feel um, the Sennheiser. I, j I just wasn't a fan of the Hyphenman. It's interesting that you switched because that was the one you were most excited. I, I really was, but I thought because I could hear it, it had nothing to do with it, okay. you know. <laughs> the Sennheiser took out the lisp. <laughs> or the spittle or whatever it is in that last song. The spittle. <laughs> whatever it was. I don't know if he has a list, he probably doesn't, but you know, on uh, the Sennheiser, I didn't hear that. It was just more of a clear transition um, and you heard the word and not the, not that gravelly transition. I feel like there wasn't a clear winner. It, I think based off of fit and feel, like if I had to wear it for a long period of time, I liked the headband on the Philips, but I liked the earpieces on the hyphen, the hyphen But I feel like sound-wise, Sennheiser was better, um, especially for like when I started getting it louder. If I had to choose a pair, I would probably choose the hyphen overall. So they're all between one and $500. What price would you give all of them, if you had to guess? The Philips? would be the more expensive one, maybe four and a half. Um, I would guess the Heifeman next at maybe two and a half. And I would guess the, the Sennheiser, maybe one and a quarter. I, I would put the Sennheiser right in the middle. Put them at 300, which really isn't in the middle, but it's in the middle of the zero to 500 range. So what it's worth to me and what it's actually worth, um, probably two different things. 200 on that one. And then the Phillips, um, I would place at probably 400, 350, 400. Uh, I'd say the Phillips probably around $200, $150, $200. The Hyphenman were probably more, I would think maybe the higher range, like four. 450 and then I would say these guys are probably in between roughly 300 I don't know the Heifman is 129 
Nice. The I would pay that for those. Philips is 169. Oh wow, okay. And the Sennheiser is 184. Oh, so, so they're, they're all, all under in 200. The, okay. Yeah. Well, so they're all under 200. That's good. Yeah. So you won't miss this one. Do you notice a big difference between these lower end ones and the higher end ones? Yes. Do you feel like there's a big sound difference between these and those? Yes. Huge? Or just a like a little amount. bit? A decent amount. I mean, for me, I'm not really an audiophile. So if I can notice the difference at all, it's probably a pretty large difference. Somebody who listens to music a lot, somebody they would probably notice it even more than I. But yeah, I could tell a difference, a considerable difference really, in between the high-end ones that we did last time and these. To where like I noticed it and I don't listen to a lot of music. Would you say the price difference is also worth it? Yes. So like these are like 200, some of those were like a few thousand. Yeah, no, the price difference probably definitely makes a factor in the sound level. So not that I would pay that much for any of those other headphones, but yes. Cool. All right. Well, thanks for coming. Okay. Thanks for coming. <laughs> All right. Cool. Thanks for coming. Yeah.